I was in Afghanistan end of February, uh, and during my visit, uh, I was really deeply and deeply affected by the magnitude of the crisis uh, that Afghan people are facing day in and day out. And let's not forget that Afghans have experienced four decades of armed conflict, uh, repeated cycles of drought, uh, putting their food security at risk. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that no family has been spared by the effect of war. Uh, and while the day-to-day -day security has improved uh, over the past months, uh, Afghans face acute needs uh, in humanitarian, but also in socioeconomic terms. And this is not the time uh, for the international community to forget uh, Afghanistan. The well-being of the Afghan people should really lie above politics, and the ICRC uh, is really committed uh, and will consistently call for proper international attention and funding mm -hmm. to ensure that public services that are critical uh, to the survival of the civilian population be preserved in the country uh, and the economic collapse is avoided. So is 98% of the population hungry? Is that really the, the accurate estimation of the situation? That sounds pretty bad. It is, uh, it is very severe. It's very difficult to have exact figures uh, but we see more and more people in the streets uh, selling their few belongings to be able to put food on the table. Mm. We see more and more people uh, seeking uh, daily jobs. Uh, the situation is very dire. The economic system is at the brink of collapse. Uh, bank, the vast majority of banks are not working. It's very hard for people to, uh, to get funds. Uh, um, uh, the vast majority of civil servants today in Afghanistan are simply not getting their salary. So you can imagine the ripple effect when uh, a family uh, relies on, uh, eight members of a family rely on a salary, how hard uh, daily mm. life is for Afghans today. What is it that makes the situation so bad? Well, I think it's really a combination of factors. And uh, the Afghanistan is uh, uh, in the eye of the cyclone of a perfect storm. So this is the, uh, the consequence of four decades of armed conflict that really brought uh, uh, the country in a very uh, dire uh, state. And then uh, the effect of climate change are also at the same time and concurrently hitting Afghanistan with the cycles of drought and, and floods uh, that are uh, more intense, more frequent. And of course, this is putting a huge pressure on the food production in the country and the ability of uh, of us Afghans to sustain uh, their own uh, needs. And the fact today that uh, uh, the, the international community and the vast majority of development agencies unplugged their support to Afghanistan since August last year, uh, a country that uh, relies heavily on international aid, of course, is bringing uh, many of the critical services uh, that 40 million Afghans rely on uh, at the brink of collapse.